this is a Pilates video for my fellow runners. We're going to start with lunges. So take a big step forwards. Up on your toe on the back foot. Hips forwards. And down into your lunge and push back up. So back knee to the floor. Make sure this front knee doesn't come over the toes. Down and up. into your quads and glutes. Three more. Last one. And let's change sides. Put the foot in front, same thing. Hips forwards, down into your lunge and push back. Touches the floor. Three more. Last one. And shake it out. Come down onto your all fours. Your hands on your shoulders, knees on the hips. Tuck your toes under. Lying on your abdominal. We're going to hover both knees and step back into your plank. Step into the knee hover and lower. So hover, step back, step in and lower. We're really working on core strength here. Obviously, a little bit of upper body strength as well. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Alternate which leg you step back on. Last one. And then untuck the toes, sit back into your heels, down through your spine, have a little stretch. Walk the hands in, restart. So we're going to do the leg circles on your side for glute knees. Lie on your side, prop your head up. Bottom leg is bent and the top leg is straight. Foot relaxed. And then draw circles about the size of a dinner plate with that leg, keeping it straight. It doesn't matter which direction because we are going to change direction in a minute. So just three more in this direction. And you can change direction to circle the other way. So if you were going forwards, you're now going backwards. And if you're going backwards, you're now going forwards. And still keeping them the size of a dinner plate, not too big. Three more. And lower the leg and change sides. Set yourself, prop your head up, bottom leg bent and top leg straight, and draw your circles. Again, it doesn't matter which way around you go because we will change. So it's just three more in this direction. Change direction. I think backwards hurts them more than forwards. Do the rest 
to the body still. We've got three more. Three, two, and one, and lower. Come on to your back. So another core cool one. Get some work into your hip flexors too. Lower back into the mat. Tuck your chin. Come to 90 degrees, hips and knees. Lift head and shoulders. Get some work into the obliques as well. So we're straighten one leg and then switch. Have a switch. And then you can add on a twist. So opposite elbow, opposite knee. Keep breathing. Keep that lower back into the mat. Tummy in strong. Make sure you're not pulling on your head. Got three more each side. And two. And one, we'll lower back down. Keep your feet to hip distance. Tuck the pelvis. Lift your bum, peel the spine off. Hips up high as you can. Keep them high. And we're going to glute march. So lift one leg and lower. Change sides and lower. So bum stays up in the air. Hips stay as still as possible while you march those legs. Don't forget connection in the abdominals. Two more each leg. Roll the spine down, bring the knees into your chest, little stretch, and you're all done. All done.